fall is upon us, one of the best seasons ever. The dirt is good, spicy beverages, pumpkin everything. Also, my favorite little golden snacks that are all over the forest floor here in the Pacific Northwest, chanterelle mushrooms. So today we're gonna go up in the hills behind me and go hunt for some chanterelles, hopefully find a bunch and then cook them up and make some tasty chanterelle food for dinner. All right, let's do it. Chanterelles are elusive creatures, and you need to be sure to bring with you your chanterelle whistle that you can pick up at any sporting goods store. If you don't have that, you can simply do the chanterelle mating call. Here, I'll demonstrate the call for you. Yay! Ooh. <laughs> There's a branch there. Oh, oh my gosh, I found the spot. Holy smokes, the call worked guys. So this is the spot. So we've got chanterelle mushrooms everywhere. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to pick them. Supplies for hunting chanterelle mushrooms are so easy. All you really need is a plastic bag and a knife. And the knife is so that you can cut the mushrooms off so that you don't pull the root system out. You want it to come out like this have like a nice clean cut on the end. And that way for years to come, you can ensure that your secret spot for mushroom picking will always have mushrooms. Identifying chanterelle mushrooms is actually pretty easy. There are a couple of lookalikes, so you wanna be sure to refer to an expert or have like a friend who knows what they're doing come along with you the first time you go. But this is basically what a smaller chanterelle looks like. And one of the keys to identifying is that there are small flutes on the underside of the cap that go all the way to the ends of the cap. Chanterelles can also hugely vary in size. So I just found this one and I also just found this one. Chanterelles do go bad. So this is a nasty one. So you just wanna make sure that you don't eat the ones that are slimy and brown and mushy. If they don't look like a nice mushroom, then you probably shouldn't eat it. Ooh la 
la la la la la la la yum 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 we got like 10 pounds of shit trails this is insane all right we're gonna go back to the van drive home and start cooking these bad boys up and i'm gonna show you my favorite way to prepare them Welcome to Cooking with Callie. <laughs> Cooking with Callie. Woo. All right, so we just got home, just got off the mountain, and now it's time to start cleaning the mushrooms off and then we're gonna cook them. Now we are going to take them apart. Just, you don't even need to use a knife to cut them. You can basically just break them apart with your hand like this. It's pretty fun, actually. Now we're just going to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil. This one's Spanish. Hola. <laughs> and then we're gonna start frying these bad boys up. So when you're cooking these, you'll also notice that a lot of moisture gets released. These things are so big and so juicy that the pan pretty much fills up with all of the liquid and water that's inside of them. So we're gonna just let that all cook until it burns off. You like chanterelles, eh? All right, so they're starting to look nice and crispy and now it's time to add the seasoning. I keep it so simple. Salt and pepper. Mmm. Yummy. So you can eat these fried chanterelles on their own and they're really good plain, but you can also use them on things like salads or hamburgers and kind of as toppers. If you don't feel like frying them, you can use chanterelles as really good replacements in pretty much any recipe that includes mushrooms. One of my favorites is mushroom risotto. Oh my gosh, it's so good with chanterelles. Just chop them up a little bit smaller than this. If you do want to make fried chanterelles but don't have the woods nearby to go hunt for them, you can also head to your local grocery store. Usually they sell them. Their only downside is that they're pretty expensive, usually between $15 and $25 a pound. So if you can, get out into your woods before winter hits and you can get some tasty morsels of your own. What'd I tell you guys? Today's gonna be a good day for chanterelle picking. You. Yeah. Get a bag, you can use plastic bag, paper bag, reusable bag if you're feeling really environmentally friendly. Environmentally friendly. Pumpkin spice lattes. Pumpkin spice lattes. Pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> 